go real. I ride in it's a big tall hills. Big fat checks, big large bills. Burn out fifth, like 10 car wheels. Pull that, give us chill. Let this find me. Never trust a big butt. And the smile work the Ronnie. Never trust a big butt. What's Gucci, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brianna C, and today I have another special video for you. Of course, it's a hair video because I love doing hair videos. Today I have an updated slick back tutorial because I did one when I was in like 10th grade. My hair is grown, my hair is red now. I don't even like wearing side parts anymore. I wear middle parts all the time now. So I just made I just thought I should do an updated video. And I use different products, different methods. So yeah, I know I haven't been posting a lot. It's because I'm now in college. If you can't tell by me being in my dorm right now, um, yeah. I tried to make this video as quick as possible, but I always get sidetracked whenever I do these videos. So sorry about that in advance. Make sure you guys comment any video requests you want because I'm trying to get back into this YouTube thing, but I never know what y'all want to see. So just make sure I leave down below any video press that you guys will have or any other questions you will have but i'm done wrapping up. we're about to get right into the video and i hope you enjoy okay so basically i'm just going to start off with telling you guys what i already did to my hair and yeah so basically i just co-washed my hair in the shower if you don't know what co-washing is it's basically when you just wash your hair with conditioner because you know shampoo dries out your hair and all that so i just co-washed it didn't use shampoo or anything and the conditions that I used today were, I used the Tea Tree Special Conditioner. This is the first time I ever used this conditioner. And it worked pretty good. Like, my curls are more defined, but it's not really moisturizing. And that's the most important factor for me, especially since, you know, I have colored hair. So, I mean, I'll definitely use it again, but, like, I'm going to still have to use the Holy Grail Aussie Moist Conditioner with it. So, yeah, I couldn't just use this by itself because it didn't give me enough moisture added this after i got out the shower as like kind of a leave-in it's not really a leave-in but like i use it as leave-in all the time and my hair is fine so yeah i just use this for extra moisture on my hair and it works pretty good so now i'm just going to tell you all the products that you will need for this style so let's start off with the actual products that you'll need actual products what, what is products actual products that you'll need so of course you're gonna need curl enhancing smoothie out I, I think i've talked about this before on my channel but yeah curl enhancing smoothie if we're being honest i don't really think it does anything for my hair i just like the way it smells but i still use it and yeah until i stop using it i won't know if it actually works for my hair but i'm not gonna stop using it next i have an actual leave-in conditioner sorry guys actual leave-in conditioner by shea moisture Jamac Jamac jamaican black castor oil it has apple cider vinegar in it and that really um helps your hair a lot um so that's why i think this works for me next you're gonna just need eco styler i use the red top red top holy grail again um it works best for my hair any like any other gel i don't know why will not work for my hair but this one always you know does the job you're gonna need three hair ties now I do my hair, I do my slick back in sections. So like if your hair is thicker than mine, you can look at it now. Thicker than mine, you're gonna need more hair ties. But I would never say, even if your hair is thinner than mine, you will need less hair ties. But that's just my opinion. Next is the brushes. Now my brushes are not clean because I definitely did my hair yesterday. So don't fit me. You're gonna need a hard bristle brush like this. And it's only part of my brushes, y'all. So don't even try to just a soft bristle brush like this one next you're going to need a dimming brush because the dimming brush is going to be the the main key factor there's another holy girl to get your hair like down from the jump because a, a hard brush is not going to do it for me so like yeah next you're going to need an edge brush because to do your edges yeah okay so the most important thing you need to do is get the part straight so you can do a side part but this video is not really meant for a side part i have a video already on a side part this is only for a middle part so yeah let's get the part Part was already there for real. I just had to like clean it up a little bit. So that my part doesn't shift while I'm doing all these parts, I'm gonna take some gel. I'm just gonna put it on the parts so that I don't lose the work I just did. Okay. Like tell y'all, as y'all can see right here, my hair is heat damaged. So that's why it's so short right here. Like I literally just cut it off. And it's still a little heat damaged, but once it grows out, I'm gonna make sure it's like all even. So stay down for the big chop. 
now the most important part is the section i keep saying the most important part because all the parts are important but now we're just going to party Okay, so this is how I section my hair. I do it three sections. Like as and as I said earlier, if you have thicker hair, you should probably do like four up here, you know, like split these two and a half, four, and then one in the back. Now we're just gonna start slicking it back. It's gonna be really hard for me to show you the back piece, but all I really do is I just slap gel on it and I brush it down. So each section you're gonna use three products. Three products, okay. Three products, and it's gonna be leave-in conditioner first. Like I said, shea moisture. Then the curl enhancing smoothie and this and this is just all for moisture most important part about having colored hair is moisture so that's why i'm so adamant about it and yeah but you don't have to do all this i just do so first we're going to do the conditioner again y'all next leave-in conditioner finally curl enhancing smoothie So this is the hard part to show y'all how I do this. I'm just gonna try to do it like at this angle. So first I'm gonna take my dimming brush and I'm gonna brush it down into a ponytail. That just forms the ponytail. Next we're gonna take some gel. Make sure you do the dimming brush before the gel. That's important you guys. I'm gonna take a hefty amount. Like this much. Next, we're gonna take the hard brush. Yeah, I don't normally use the soft brush because I don't really need it, but like today, I'll just do it. Finally, you're just gonna put it into a white Okay, so I just realized I have deodorant stains, guys. I suck. And now it's just time for the front part. So I always start with this section first. I don't know why, because it's so short, like it's way shorter. Basically, we're gonna do the same thing, except for when you put the conditioner on this time, make sure you focus on the edges because the key to having good edges is making sure that they're moisturized. Next, we're gonna add conditioner to the length of the hair. Leaving. Curly Use the dimming brush again. It's the same process for each section, you guys. It's not really that hard if you do it, you know. Okay, so for the last section, I'm going to literally repeat every step I did for this section. Okay, so as y'all can see, the hard work is all done. So next, you're going to just take a scarf and you're going to put it over your head. I mean, not really your edges because then your edges are going to be like really like stuck to your head. So I try to avoid the edges, but you know, can't really do that. And you're just going to tie the scarf. And while the scarf is on, I'll normally put on my clothes and just get ready. Yeah. So now that I'm dressed for the day, it's cold outside. That's why I'm wearing this turtleneck. It's kind of out of my comfort zone, but that's besides the point. Um, you're just going to take off the scarf. And it's pretty slick. And next, to make the bun, it's a very simple task. You're just going to take the ends of your hair like this. 
you're gonna take them, twist it. Just the ends though, you see how it's like coming out, that's okay. Just the ends, and we're gonna take it and we're gonna wrap it around like pretty small. Just like this. Is it coming out? Okay. Like this. And then next we're gonna just do some edges. So that's about it for this video. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, I know this video wasn't the most detailed and I didn't have the best views. So if y'all have anything else that y'all wanna know, just let me know and I'll make it more clear for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and leave posts and put on post notifications because I think I'm gonna start posting more. Like I said it every time. So that's why I'm saying I think now because you never know, but yeah just make sure you guys leave any video requests that you have down below thanks for watching bye anything for clout anything for clout all people need to hit this need to hit this need to hit this